the first trail run of um, my training, I guess. I've been doing lots of long runs on the concrete, on the tarmac, and now I'm venturing into the ultra world and starting my first trail running program, I guess. And I just thought I'd take you through the day. It's going to be about one degree, November 29th, at 10, 10 a.m. I don't know what I'm going to be doing today in terms of distance. Um, probably going to go on time, maybe two and a half hours, three hours run today. And yeah, maybe I'll show you kind of like what goes on. Here we go. See if it uh, works. I'm now getting on the trails, as you can see, and it starts with a nice uphill. Now, apparently, you're meant to walk up these hills. Uh, maybe I should be. I'm a novice, so maybe I'll learn a few things or two. But yeah, let me uh, see if I can show you where we're at. Let's give it a good pan. And here we are. Nice trowel. That's what we're going to be doing. Why would you get bored of being inside just nature and tapping your feet through these just beautiful woods? Uh, and all I need is a bit of drink and some food. And I'm happy. So to you soon. So one thing I've noticed is trail running, which is my first one I'm about five and a half miles in of maybe a 20 miler and it's a bit wet on the ground which is not what I'm used to and, and uh, I think I'm so inexperienced where I'm sliding all over the place and having really kind of like jerking reactions which could prone to sort of like either falling over or you know best case getting a muddy, muddy ass. Uh, definitely need to my technical skills in terms of running um, which I will but yes uh, all in all I'm loving this this is just so amazing what a way to I don't know just kind of I don't know just take it all in you know just it's just unbelievable uh, just trying to get used to this camera as well which is fine um, but yeah it's just unbelievable
<laughs> Stunning. <laughs> A style. Oh. oh, this is just amazing. Just amazing. Okay, so I'm just uh, now 10 miles into the run, still in the forest. It's absolutely glorious and, you know, it's just incredible. Um, gonna stop and have some lunch before I do, just kind of go through, I guess, some of the gear. So as you can see, uh, I've basically come out with a New Balance, kind of like very fitted base layer um, with long arms. I've got some Nike running gloves. Um, obviously have my Coros watch, which I love. It's one of the lightest watches in the world apparently, and I love it. It's got multi-sport, low uh, 30 hour battery on GPS. It's brilliant. Um, and uh, on the top i obviously wear a nice kind of like base sort of like uh sort of like core body warmer which is new balance again um it's got sort of like all of the uh sort of like vents at the back so it can let br let you breathe at the back but keeps your sort of like wind off on the front and core warm um i kind of like it rather than a jacket because I want my arms nice and loose and generally you know your arms warm up pretty well but you just want to keep your core warm um, and I can unbutton it if I want to or just take it off and put it round. Um, I'll show you some of the other stuff that I've got. So let me Here I'm running the New Balance uh, trail shoes which are really nice. Um, they are uh, the Trail Fresh Foam. I absolutely love them. Uh, really, really nice. They are. Uh, I use fresh foam for my like road shoes, and these ones are just sort of like really nice because they are just. I don't know. They just sort of suit me. So if you can kind of get some trainers, uh, the same brand that you run on the running shoes on the on the road into trail, I think they'll do you well. Also running some uh, Nike uh, bibs, which are lovely. Um, they keep you nice and warm. They've got loads of um, nice pockets at the back, which you may or may not be able to see. There's my ass. Sorry about that, but you've got phones, gels, and then also around the back, you've got um, this kind of area here where you can keep... Oh, you can't see it, it's got got this area here where you can keep a jacket so if I was getting too hot I could put my jacket around the back there too. Enjoy when you're doing some trail running. Stop, you know, have a drink. That's what you do, isn't it? But you just don't stop for too long. And then you have, you know, maybe maybe something to eat. Uh, I'm gonna have these I absolutely love. I'm addicted to these, which are, I'm sure you've all had them. These are Renegades bars. They come in loads of different flavors. Oh my gosh. Mm. The one I've got, dark chocolate and raspberry. It's 
so good. Oh, oh my God. Stop there. So good. Okay, so I am now 18.2 miles in. Um, it's definitely harder than the road, um, but in a different way, you gotta kind of keep lifting your legs up. Uh, more technical, um, you know, you need a bit more kind of like focus on the floor. So you mentally, it's a little bit more draining uh, but yeah, you need obviously a little bit more, I don't know, I want to say power in the legs, but just a different type of power to keep your feet light uh, and, you know, over roots and keeping light on the rocks, flexibility on the ankles, you know, it, it's definitely very, very different. And, um, you know, different parts of my body is feeling a little bit more tired than I would normally feel on uh, a, a normal run. But I've got another probably three or four miles to get back. So it's going to be about 22 mile, um, which is great. I was kind of looking for a three hour run, you know, about, didn't know what to expect in terms of distance, but I've covered, I would, you know, would have covered about 22 miles um, in just over three hours, I guess, uh, which, is, which is good. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it and well, I'm not finished yet, so I better go on with it. Okay, so I am back where I started. Well, kind of about a mile away from home, but I will take you down the gravel path where you remember me first went up. It's been an awesome, awesome run. I've loved it. I've absolutely loved it. Just the feeling of freedom is incredible. And I'd totally recommend anyone uh, to go and do some trail running, whether it's a mile, two miles, jog, walk, whatever, get your cap on, hat on and something warm and some food and drink and a uh, phone, make sure people know where you are and just go out there and explore. Um, I've got lost today. I, I've been living in this area for so long and I got lost, which is uh, pretty, pretty incredible really. Um, I had to just get my phone out and GPS and make sure I've, I'll go in the right direction because I was actually heading towards Potter's Bar, which is why I've done a little bit over. But here we go. We're gonna go down the normal route. So here we go. Oh, it's a bit crappily. Gotta watch your feet. Here we go, we're gonna drop into Great Town Wall where I'm sure people that know where I live and local people will know where we are. This is where we do a bit of skiing, hogging. But it's a small mound I know. 
but that's where we go and what we do if it ever ever snows oh, isn't it awesome sorry you got me on the camera i don't know where my arm is or head but yeah i'll tell you the distance and the miles minutes per miles i must get back numbers for today on the trail run so we did 22.04 miles um you can see that we've been uh, running for uh three hours 28 average pace of nine minutes 26 that includes uh the stops etc so let's just move it along um running performance 98 percent training load uh, 339 um, aerobic 4.5 best miles 7 minutes 54 as we talked about average pace I think this is average kilometers um, come to the train zone so you can see my max heart rate was 176 average 147 which is not bad considering it's trowel and muddy um, see my heart rate there and you can see I'm only worked in zone four, then zone three, second, and then zone five, you know, probably on some of the climbs. Average power, two, six, three. Um, elevation, gain, 176. Well, sorry, 1673. Uh, and then elevation loss, 1726. Which is quite interesting, because then I started and finished in the same place. Um, and you can see the uh, terrain there that I kind of had. So a bit of up and down, which is uh, good training. Average cadence, 171. Average stride length, 3.48. And then calories, 262.